So here is day two of my speedy, quick propagation of my succulents. And as you can see, see that already? There's some roots coming out. And this is just being dunked in water for a couple days. Roots there. So I'm checking everything every day. But that's two days worth as opposed to weeks of waiting for the roots to come out. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that in soil after the roots are established a little bit better. So for those of you who are wondering how I did um, the propagation by water um, and make it a speedy um, thing, the one that I showed you in the picture and the video, um, I had a lot, of, uh, a lot of leaves that I needed to propagate. So I had the big tray and those are just like recycled trays from, you know, um, store-bought food. And um, so I used that because it's uh, long and pretty shallow. Um, but I want to show you how to do it. It's really easy. Um, this is just a container that I got from church. The um, Blood of Christ. And I like to keep these type of things because they really are handy to do things like this. And yeah, maybe I'm a hoarder. But... Um, I actually use everything that I save. So um, I have two leaves right here and um, what you need are two toothpicks if you're only going to do two leaves. Um, I think you can do only two at the most for this little one. Then I have a syringe full of water here that I'm just going to empty out into this little cup. Um, of course, I don't have enough, so I have to solicit some of these water from my water bottle, from my spray bottle. So you just want to fill it up this much. Only, uh, just enough so that when you hang the leaves over um, it's just barely touching or it's touching it but not dunked all the way in so then I take my toothpick and I kind of want to measure how thick my leaves are so now I have two le I have two leaves but both of them are not the same size so one is skinnier than the other um, so I'm gonna have to try to make it work so I'm going to try not to pinch it too much and then I take some tape make sure that to the both toothpicks are straight and they're perpendicular to I mean uh, parallel to each other so that when you're when you hang them, it's not um, going this way, like sideways. So I'm going to try to work this in. Try to work this in. It's going to be, hopefully, see I can't pinch it too much. So what I'm going to do, because the, the, the width or the thickness is so different, I'm just going to use one and then do another one for that one. So I'm going to pinch it a little bit, hold it, take a piece of tape, and do the same on the other side. Now I can hang it on on the um, the container however it's still not I, I still 
don't have enough water in it so I'm going to go ahead and pour some more and you have to kind of watch this every day and make sure that the water is not below the line the succulent leaf and maybe I can hang this now see now I can <laughs> now they're both in there and it's not going anywhere so easy peasy every day I check it and make sure that the roots are coming in um, like I showed you the other um, video earlier that was two days and so I'm just going to put this in a a sunny window and after two days I should see some roots and I'm gonna leave it there for about a week I would say but even even if you do I mean, if you don't do it this way and you do it the normal way just leaving it out um, it takes more than a week or maybe sometimes it even takes a month before you see even see any roots coming out um, but this way it's in water and it's doing its thing so don't forget to subscribe click subscribe and I'll have more videos for you unusual things that I do with succulents see you later